Hey guys, this is just a quick video to talk about HitFilm Pro 2017 update number three. Uh, it changes a couple things in some of the prior tutorials. In the earlier tutorials when we were discussing um, creating effects presets in HitFilm, I stated that uh, you could not create effects presets in the editor timeline. And it turns out that that's a bug uh, that has been fixed in update uh, three. So, and yeah, let me throw one more on here just for fun. So I'm here in an editor timeline, and you can see over on the left, I've created a, a quick set of effects, just an angle blur, an auto color, a bleach bypass. This isn't a preset I'm going to keep, it's just to demonstrate. And if I select all these guys and right click and do create preset, I do get the option to create the preset. So that's a bug that's been fixed in HitFilm 2017 Update 3. Uh, the second thing I want to talk about is here, um, this audio waveform. The audio waveforms in HitFilm uh, are now drawn by a logarithmic scale instead of a linear scale. And this has the effect of making the waveforms a lot larger and a lot easier to see. If I go into the options and I change this from channel composite to RMS amplitude, you can see that that waveform is just a lot higher. It's a lot easier to read uh, if you were to compare that to the RMS waveforms displayed in the audio tutorial. So I just wanted to point that out. And then I'm going to go into this composite shot and I'm going to drag this audio clip into the composite shot. Now, nothing's changed here, but if I click on this layer and open up the layer properties, then we see this new option for show waveform. And if I click on that, there's my waveform drawn in the data block in the composite shot. And that's a small little new feature, but that's going to make a lot of people using HitFilm 2017 very happy. Uh, for the last couple of years on the forums, people have been asking to see audio waveforms and composite shots. If you're doing something like a music video or a heavy effects scene and you really need to be locking stuff down to um, audio, this should make it a lot easier for you to do that. So, um, yeah. That's all I got to say on this one. This was uh, just a, a short little overview on uh, HitFilm 2017 update number three. I'm Mike Miller for Triumph Visual. Thanks for sitting through this, and I'll see you next time.